New at 10 tonight, one of Florida's most recognizable name brands quietly bubbles to life in our backyard, Zephyr Hill Spring Water. And tonight, our consumer reporter takes us right to the source for a revealing behind the scenes tour. Chris Camara presents a water feature. <laughs> H2O. When I requested an insider's perspective on bottled water. It's very fast paced. Zephyr Hills quenched my curiosity. Basically that's all it is, the merry-go-round. And wowed me with huge numbers. That's somewhere around uh, 5 million bottles of water every day. It's 100% water, that's it. And yet, we found a secret recipe. You would think that getting water in a bottle wouldn't be that complicated, right? It is absolutely gorgeous. Zephyr Hills water bubbles to life here. This is Crystal Springs Preserve. Not just one natural spring, a complex of them, spread over 525 lush acres. Contrary to public opinion, this is private property. And it turns out Florida's most famous waterworks falls under the watchful eye of someone unexpected. I'm a rancher. Cattleman Robert Thomas's family bought Crystal Springs back in the 60s. Today, it's a working preserve. It's a great source of pride for us. A team balances. It's such a privilege to work here. The water's health against consumer demand for it. We are private stewards of some of Florida's most amazing habitat. Naturalist Karen Pate helped safeguard the spring. She invited me to the water's edge. It's amazing how clear it is. Yeah, it's awesome. But it wasn't always this pristine. Zephyr Hills has long been known for great water. Photos from the 20s, 30s, and 40s found inside Florida's archives tell a tale of tourists and locals alike flocking here. It became the old swimming hole. And loving the springs almost to death. It was a mess back then. Hydrogeologist Kent Kopchuk is part of a team that protects Crystal Springs. You have to be careful positioning yourself here. He's checking the flow of tiny springs he calls sand boils, because that's what they look like. You could feel the hole in the bedrock. Next, it's my turn. Nothing to fear down there, right? Nothing to fear. My footing is shaky, but the payoff is feeling one of our planet's most vital mysteries firsthand. Oh, there it is. It feels like a pool pump. These natural springs are truly a tall glass of water. Each day, they collectively pump out 30 million gallons. Zephyr Hills takes 600,000. Via this unassuming underwater pipe that measures a mere 10 inches in diameter. People that come out and see it and they think I'm playing a joke on them or something. They think that there's going to be some pipe this big, you know, and they're like, that's it. This stainless steel straw runs underground, under roads, under intersections, and over three miles. Uh, 3.24 miles, actually. To arrive at the bottling plant. The first thing we do is run it through carbon filtration. We entered the restricted area behind barbed wire, where these towering silver silos sift out debris. Each of those uh, hold about 45,000 gallons of water. Inside this high-speed operation, water zips from bulk to bottle in a flash. We have 10 production lines. Do you recognize this? It's a Zephyr Hills bottle in the making. Most people don't realize what it takes to make a bottle. Every Zephyr Hills bottle begins as a three-inch mold. A mesmerizing machine first heats it in infrared. 105 Celsius. Celsius? Yeah. That's 221 degrees Fahrenheit. At that exact temperature, a puff of air blows it into the shape we know. How fast does that happen? 17 a second or 1,020 a minute. You heard him right, 17 bottles a second. 1,020 a minute. 230 workers keep the pounding pace here. Down the warp speed assembly line, we find the stars spinning automatic filler. These giants precision fill and tightly cap as fast as a thousand a minute with better than 99% accuracy. The speed of the process from this to this is so fast, it's a blur. Our only indication that it's over here at the filling line is that there's water spilling on the ground. The result is an ocean of water bottles. There's a lot of thirsty people out there. Right? Nestle, the same Nestle that makes chocolate, owns Zephyr Hills and sees growth in bottled water.
Water is trending up. You know, the company's dietitian predicts bottled water will enjoy its best year ever. In 2014, for the first time ever in U.S. supermarkets, we bought more bottled water than carbonated drink. From pipeline arrival to bottled departure, natural spring water spends just 35 minutes becoming Zephyr Hills natural spring water after perhaps years underground. It's an incredible journey for those three precious molecules, a process enjoyed by many, but understood by few. Nobody except a few locals, really. The collaboration here is ironic in that consuming this spring's sole offspring actually helps preserve it, but it works. I think it works quite well. It's a big job that both the pros on the industrial side. I'm a lot of pride. And the experts whose office is in nature. Yeah, this is where it starts. Thirst to do. You like your job. Oh, I love my job. It's one of the best jobs in the world, I think. Chris Camora, Fox 13 News. Florida is really an amazing place, is it not? Crystal Springs Preserve is not open to the public for tours, but kids can take some field trips there if you'd like to learn a little bit more. We've got a link on our website, myfoxtampabay.com. Seen under TV, seen on TV right there in the middle of the homepage. Check it out.